Hebrews chapter 6 The promise of the Most High is sure and steadfast. It's important that we understand that we're dealing with the Most High, Yahuwah. And that when He makes promises to us, we can stand on it. When He makes promises to us, they are sure and steadfast. His promise is sure and steadfast. You see, the Israelites of old, I guess they didn't understand that. Because when he made promise to them, they provoked him. So now, let's go get right into this lesson, okay? The promise of the Most High is sure and steadfast. Hebrews chapter 6. Therefore, leaving the principle of the doctrine of the Mashiach, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works, and of faith toward Yah, and of the doctrine of baptisms, and of the laying on of hands, and of the resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment, and this we will do if Yah permit. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, and have tasted the good word of Yah and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance. Seeing they crucified to themselves the son of Yah afresh and put him to an open shame. Now, I want you to understand what's being said here. Now, remember in the last chapter at the end, he talked about babes, how that many of Yah's people are babes and that they've been babes for too many years and that they should be adults they should be teaching, he said. He said, but not you have need that someone teach you again the first principles of Yah. Now he goes on to say, hey, let's get on beyond this stuff. Get on beyond what? What are you saying we should get, get on beyond? Because what we are still dealing with, Paul is saying, that's babe stuff. <laughs> Paul said, let's go on into perfection. Pay attention. He said, now, therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of, of the Mashiach. So, in other words, the doctrine of the Mashiach, we should be beyond the just learning the basics of the doctrine of the Mashiach. He says, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works. He said, this part of repentance from dead works, this, we should be beyond this now. This repentance from dead works. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and faith toward Yah. So in other words, he's saying this thing about faith toward Yah, we should be beyond that. We should we should have faith. We should not be doubting him now, right? And of the doctrine of baptisms, in other words, the doctrine of baptisms, we should be settled in this thing. We should already know that we should be baptized in the name of you of Yahushua HaMashiach. We should already know the importance of it and all of these different things. We shouldn't have to be going over this over and over again. We should be beyond it and of the laying on of hands and of the resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. He said, this is all surface stuff. Wow. This is all surface stuff. And this you will do if y'all permit. You will continue to just go on and on in the surface stuff. Wow. Then he says this here. I want you to understand something. He said, it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift. What heavenly gift? The Holy Spirit. And were made partakers of the Holy Spirit. And have tasted of the good word of Yah. You have tasted the good word of Yah. And the powers of the world to come. You felt all of this. It is impossible if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance. Wow. 
He said it is impossible to renew them again unto repentance. Why? What's going on here? He said, seeing they crucified to themselves the son of Yah afresh and put him to an open shame. Wow! How did they put him to an open shame? What? You know how they did it? Because they put him to an open shame when they said, uh, you know what? I don't believe in this. I don't believe in that. I don't agree with this, yeah. I don't agree with that. Yeah, I know you promised, but I just don't agree with it. Yeah, I know I've tasted the power of heaven. I know I've tasted the Ruach HaKadosh, but you know what? I just don't know if I agree with it anymore. You know what? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I used to believe in the Messiah, but I don't believe anymore. He said, man, it is impossible to renew them again unto repentance. Seeing that they crucified him to themselves, the son of Yah afresh, and put him to an open shame. Wow. They put him to an open shame when they deny him. That's why he said he that denied the son, him shall the father deny. Wow. So that's why he said, it's impossible. That's why a person that have gone astray, boy, you better pray hard. You better seek your heart. Pray that you're not too far gone. Wow. Pray that you're not too far gone. Now let's keep reading. It says, for the earth which drinketh in the rain that cometh off upon it and bringeth forth herbs, meat for them by whom it is dressed, Receiveth blessing from Yah. But that which beareth thorns and brass is rejected and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Are you hearing what he's saying here? He said, Man, you know that a good herb, right? That's that that, that, that that's brought after himself, right? This good herb and whom whom is dressed, it will receive the blessing from Yah, right? He said, but that that bear of thorns and briars is rejected. Wow. In other words, you better bring forth some fruit. Don't you know the words say every tree that doeth not bring forth good fruit is hewn down and thrown into the fire. Hallelujah. You better bring forth good fruit. Hallelujah. That's the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pay attention. Hallelujah. He said, that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected. That means it's not bearing fruit. And if you're not bearing fruit, woe to you. Hallelujah. He said, whose nigh is unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation though we thus speak so he said even though i'm speaking of this and i'm talking about all this he said we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation so he's saying i know i'm telling you how close you are to burning who's who is nigh unto cursing i know that some of you are nigh unto cursing he said but guess what we are persuaded that there are better things for you. Things that accompany salvation. Now, listen to what he says here. For Yah is not unrighteous to forget your work of labor of love, which ye have shown toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence of the full assurance of hope unto the end. There it is again. Hold the faith, other words. If you just hold the faith and don't backslide and don't fall away, if you just hold the faith, huh? If you just hold the faith until the end, you will be blessed, right? He said, y'all, it's not unrighteous to forget your work. And the labor of love that you done done. He's not, he's not unrighteous that he would forget the work that you've done. Right? He's not, he won't forget it. He sees the work that you've done. He sees your heart, right? And if you have done work and work of labor of love, right? That you have shown toward his name, then he's going to bless you, right? And that you have ministered to his saints and do minister. He said he's going to bless you, right? Now, pay attention to the next verse, verse 12. 
Then he says, That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherited the promises. So how do you think you're going to inherit the promises if you don't have faith, if you don't have patience, if you can't endure? Don't you know the scripture says that those that endure to the end shall be saved? That's the word. Those that endure to the end shall be saved. Hallelujah. You got to endure this thing. You got to endure. Day by day, you must endure. You must endure and you must keep the faith. Hallelujah. Don't you know the race isn't given to the swift? Hallelujah. But them that endure to the end? Hallelujah. So if you run this race, picture this. A person running a race. And the race is like a, 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 a four mile race, right? And he's running and he's running and he's running. Hey, I, I, I know it was well that you ran that first mile and you did well in the second mile, right? But if you fall out, at the end of the second mile, all that work was in vain. Are you getting it? All that work, that's why you got to endure it to the end. Can you imagine somebody, they're running that four mile race, right? And they get down to the third mile. And they only got a half a mile left in the third mile, in the third mile, right? A half a mile left. And then all of a sudden they get down to a quarter of a mile. And they can see the finish line, and then they just give up and fall out. Man! <laughs> oh, all that time is just wasted. Right? That's why you got to endure. There are people that have been running this race for years. For years. And then all of a sudden, they just give up. Man, I've seen it. I've seen it, and it is so sad. I've seen people that have been saved for years, 10, 15 years, and then after so long, they just give up. They just bail out of the race. It's like, man, so what was all that 15 years for? What was that 20 years for, right? You got to be in this thing for life. Hallelujah. It can't just be nothing to, yeah, yeah, until this, until that, right? You have to just stay in it no matter what. No matter what, I'm, I'm staying in this race. I'm going to follow the Messiah. I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to stay on, on top of things. I'm not going to faint, huh? I'm not going to faint, huh? Hallelujah. They that wait upon Yahuwah shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. That's what the words say. That's what it says. Hallelujah. Now, pay attention. It says that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience they inherited the promise. You want to inherit to the promise? You got to have faith. You got to have patience, right? For when Yah made promise to Abraham because he could swear by no greater he swore by himself so he looked out into the universe into everything that was made everything that was and he couldn't see nothing that he could swear by the only greatest thing that he could swear by was by him on his own self hallelujah saying surely blessing I will bless thee and multiply I will multiply thee so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. Hallelujah. That's what it's all about. Patiently enduring, you will obtain the promise. Hallelujah. Patiently enduring. Hallelujah. For men, verily swear by the greater. An oath for confirmation is to them the end of all strife. What does that mean? Men know that when you have an oath, for confirmation, then you know, okay, okay, this thing gonna happen. It's gonna work out. It's gonna come to pass. You understand? So that's what the Most High is trying to show here. That we, he gives us an oath. He swore by himself. We have an oath from Yahuwah. You don't have an oath of man. Yah's not a man that he should lie, right? Hallelujah. Pay attention, right? This is wherein Yah willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath. So he said, I want to show you. 
Huh? I want to show it to the heirs of uh, promise the immutability of my counsel. I'm going to confirm it by an oath. Now I want you to pay attention here because this is very important that we get this. Now watch this here. Right? Watch this. The word immutability means unchangeable. That means he cannot change. Hallelujah. You see how you can make a promise. A person can make a promise to you, right? And then years later, they, they, they change their mind or they change. People change. That's how we are. But Yah's not a man. He cannot change. So when he confirmed his oath, he said, I'm not going to change. I'm going to hold to my oath because I am immutable. Hallelujah. So pay attention. He confirmed it by an oath. That by two immutable things in which it was impossible for Yah to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope that is set before us. Hallelujah. So we have a strong consolation in the fact that Yah cannot lie. Hallelujah. He is not a man that he should lie. So when he said he's going to do something, you can believe it. When he said he's going to do it, you can stand on it. That's his word. Hallelujah. You supposed to be a believer. You supposed to be able to trust him. And you can trust him. So quit wavering in your faith. Hallelujah. Don't the word teach that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways? Hallelujah. You got to stand on this word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand on this word. Quit wavering. When he promised, he swore by himself. He gave you an oath. Hallelujah. He says, surely blessing, I will bless thee and multiply, I will multiply thee. Ain't that what he told you in his word? He said, then it shall come to pass if you hearken diligently unto all my commandments, which I command thee this day, that all these blessings shall come on you and overtake you. Don't you know if you stand on his word and you keep his word, you got an overtaking coming of blessings? Hallelujah. That's his word. Hallelujah. That's his word. Hallelujah. You need to chew on it. You need to not just taste it, chew it. You need to swallow it. You need to digest it. It needs to become a part of your body. Hallelujah. A part of your flesh. Chew on his word. Believe what he said. Hallelujah. Yah's word is true. Hallelujah. And his promise is sure and steadfast. Hallelujah. His word is more, more sure than, than anything that you can look and see. You can look at anything that's in front of you right now. You looking at it and you can reach out and touch it, right? His word is more true than that. Hallelujah. But matter of fact, those things you looking at right now can't even exist if it hadn't been for his word. Hallelujah. Those things couldn't even consist, right? If it had not been for his word, hallelujah, is by and through his word, hallelujah. Now, I want you to put that in your cup of tea in the morning. When you get up in the morning, put that in your cup of tea. Put that in your coffee and you drink that, hallelujah. Let that be your coffee in the morning, hallelujah. Let that be your tea. You sip on it and you sip on it and you sip on it, hallelujah. Y'all made promises to you, and he's aiming to keep them. But you have to do what he said. What did he say in his word, huh? What did he say in his word? He says that you be not slothful, but follows of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. So you have to have faith and patience so that you can inherit the promises. Hallelujah. It says... And if we desire that any one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Hallelujah. We got to show faith. We got to keep the faith. We got to we got to get past the 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 um um 
uh, the beginning principles of the doctrine of, 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 of the Messiah and, and the foundation and all these, 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 these foundational things. He said, we got to go on beyond that. Huh? Y'all got to go beyond it. Hallelujah. You got to move beyond it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to go beyond it. Hallelujah. Yah is not unrighteous that he will forget all the work and labor that you've done. But you better stand fast. Hallelujah. You better not backslide. huh? You better think about that scripture when it says it is impossible to renew them again unto repentance. huh? You better think about that. Hallelujah. Remember his word. Hallelujah. The promise of the Most High is sure and steadfast. You can stand on his promises. You know what you should do? You should go through the scriptures of Yah and find everything that was promised to you. Everything. And you need to take those promises. You need to say, these are, these are mine. You need to claim them. You need to make stake on those things. You need to say, this is mine right here. Because they are yours. If you believe. Hallelujah. Well, on that note, family, I'm going to say shalom.